Welcome, welcome, you're at my corner. Are you ready for today? I've got a big list for me and you. There's lots to do. Quick, come on through. At Courtney Carrots Corner, at Courtney Carrots Corner, why don't you come and join us? At Courtney Carrots Corner. G'day, it's Connie Carrots here and welcome back to my corner. How is everyone today? We've already looked at the top layer of the ocean, which is the sunlight zone. And we've already looked at the second layer of the ocean, which is the twilight zone. And now we're diving down even deeper into the midnight zone. Woo! <laughs> the midnight zone is super interesting. So make sure we turn our listening ears on so we can learn all about it. Are we ready? Let's go. Woo! Down in the midnight zone, it is really, really dark. Scientists actually say that there is less than 1% of light from the sun. That's really dark. Put your hands over your eyes really, really tight and then try and open your eyes. What can you see? Nothing. That's how dark it is in the midnight zone. Some of the fish down there don't like it, so they use something that's called bioluminescence. Big word. Bioluminescence is when fish create their own fluorescent source of light. So they're glowing fish. How cool is that? Some of these creatures are the vampire shark. Ooh. The snipe eel. Whoa. And the anglerfish. Remember, the anglerfish is from Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. Let's have a look. These fish use their source of light to trick predators into thinking they're bigger or more scarier than they are, so they don't get eaten. That makes a lot of sense. When scientists were going around the midnight zone, they came up with a super complicated name for it again. Scientists! This one they call the bathy pelagic zone. Mm-hmm. Let's say it together. Bath E Pel Agic. Bathy Pelagic Zone. Good work, everyone. There are also some non-glowing sea creatures that live down here as well, such as the tripod fish, the golfer eel, the cookie cutter shark, whose name is the cookie cutter shark because when he takes a bite from the fish he eats, he leaves a little cookie cutter mark. Mm -hmm. And the giant squid. Whoa! He's so big! <laughs> because there's no sunlight down here, no plants grow, which means a lot of the fish that live here rely on a certain type of bacteria to sustain themselves. The bacteria live off something called hydrogen sulfides. I know, that's a bit crazy of a word. 70% <laughs> of the earth is covered in water and more than 60% of that water is more than two kilometers deep and heaps of it hasn't been explored. Which means when you grow up, it's your job to explore all of the unexplored parts of the ocean and discover new and exciting sea creatures for everyone to be friends with. How cool is that? I really hope you guys enjoyed learning all about the Midnight Zone because I sure did. We only have two layers of ocean left to go. The abyss and the trenches. The trenches are pretty scary. Before I say goodbye, I just want to let you all know and remind you to enter our Easter giveaway. We're giving away heaps of cool prizes and you could win all of this. Woo! 